With the month of November having an emphasis on respect for community, we would like to highlight some ways and opportunities that you can be involved in the community during the break. While we're at home enjoying our food, these service opportunities will give us the opportunity to serve others. Our first activity is West Side Thanksgiving. It's a volunteer driven event at the West Los Angeles Civic Center on Thanksgiving Day where volunteers can help collect food and clothing. Our second opportunity is with Elliot Works where volunteers can help feed 500 families on Thanksgiving Day and also help spread the word by handing out flyers. Our third activity is with Serve LA who needs volunteers to help prepare meals, retrieve donations, and more. And finally, a Skid Row Community Thanksgiving Dinner is an opportunity to serve those in Skid Row and come together as a community to provide a warm meal, fellowship, and gratitude. These opportunities allow us to serve the least of our brothers and sisters and to ensure that they too feel dignity during this holiday season. For more information on these opportunities and even more opportunities, feel free to contact Mr. Preston. Thank you, Christian leaders, for that great mission moment. It's definitely important to serve and build respect for your community, even over break. Good morning and welcome to NDTV. Today is Tuesday, November 26, 2024. Welcome to our Thanksgiving show. I'm your NDTV anchor, Lola Grant, here with Dominic Malenzi to bring you your Tuesday morning news show. Dominic, are you ready for Thanksgiving break? What are you going to do? I'm going to be eating turkey and sleeping all day. That sounds fun. Anyways, today we'll check in to see what holiday flavors are popular at Salt and Straw with our ND students, a special Thanksgiving party that is taking place this weekend, and if you're looking for a place to volunteer and get service hours, then you might want to check out the Angel Food Project. We will also learn more about Native American Heritage Month. Plus, we will check out with Christian leaders and their awesome trip they went on. Stay tuned, Knights. We're just getting started. Hey Knights, this is Night News. Please join ASB and the Theology Department in supporting families during this Christmas season. ASB has created an Amazon wish list of trending gifts if you want to check it out on the NDHS website. You can also access the link through the student portal on Canvas or scan the QR code you see around campus and in your classrooms. We really want everyone in the community to participate so ND can make a positive impact during the holidays. The organizations that ND will be providing to you this year are Children's Hospital, Ronald McDonald House, Boys and Girls Club, LGBTQ Plus Agency, Midnight Mission, and the Elizabeth House. The drive will continue until December 13th. You could also hand deliver items to your first or fifth period classes, your theology class, or to the ASB office. We thank you in advance. That's all for Night News. Thank you, Dominic, for the Night News. As we're in the month of November, it is crucial for us to acknowledge Indigenous Peoples Month. NDTV reporters educating themselves on the importance of having respect towards the Indigenous people of America. As November comes to an end, we recognize Native American Heritage Month, a time to honor the history, culture, and contributions of the Indigenous American peoples. My name is Dr. Kelly Jackson. I lead diversity, equity, and inclusion here. And in my role, I foster an environment where every student, regardless of their cultural background, socioeconomic status, gender, or any other indifference, uh, feels a place where they are seen, they're heard, and they're included. Honoring Indigenous history, thinking a little bit about the lands that we live on, the lands that we inherit. One way to show respect is by exploring resources like the Autry Museum of the American West. A highlight is the exhibit Future Imaginaries, Indigenous Art, Fashion, and Technology, where artists reflect on existence in terms of time, nature, and culture. Self-education is key to amplifying Indigenous voices and bringing justice towards Indigenous communities. We gather on the lands of the Gabrielino, Tongva, Chumash, Serrano, Ahashaman, and Luisenio peoples. Let us remain mindful of our place in the global community. Thank you so much, NDTV reporters, for the important reminder to recognize Indigenous voices and be mindful of our position in this world. Recently, several students involved with our campus ministry had a chance to attend the National Catholic Youth Conference. This is a three-day conference where high school students engage in prayer, community, praise, and workshop. Students from all over America gather for a powerfully unique encounter with Christ. This past weekend, Campus Ministry brought a few students to the National Catholic Youth Conference, or NCYC, in Long Beach. Hey, NDTV! We're at the National 
National Catholic Youth Conference, also known as NCYC. Day two of NCYC. I gotta explain the cap. Okay. okay ready, ready? Okay. NCYC, National Catholic Youth Conference, ND, Notre Dame, John 14, 6, and God is greater than our highest mountains and lowest valleys. Yay! Day, Day three of NCYC. students had an amazing experience with peers from all over the country engaging in meaningful workshops and creating strong sense of community. Next, let's check out the Angel Food Project, a nonprofit organization that provides free meals to people facing serious illnesses. We sent two reporters to check out this organization and opportunities we can be involved with while getting closer to Thanksgiving. Today we visited an incredible organization that's been making a difference for over 30 years, Project Angel Food. Since its founding in 1989, Project Angel Food has been committed to providing nutritious, medically tailored meals to individuals who are battling critical illnesses. But the impact of this organization extends far beyond just food. Project Angel Food is about giving people hope, dignity, and the support they need to focus on healing. Each day, dedicated volunteers work tirelessly to prepare and deliver over a thousand meals to clients across Los Angeles. And with over one million meals served annually, the need continues to grow. Hi, today I'm here with... I am Robert Cliff Malagon, and I am the manager of volunteer services at Project Angel Food in Los Angeles. Our mission is to make sure that no one goes hungry. And we do that by providing medically tailored meals to a population that's become homebound due to a life-threatening illness. Thank you so much. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Right now I'm here with... Chef Denise Hobby. Can you share any creative strategies or menu planning techniques you use to keep the meals diverse and appeal appealing while staying within budget and nutritional guidelines? Um, well, we do have to serve a wide variety of people with different health issues. Even diabetics, our food reduces their A1C levels. Remember, no act of kindness is too small. Together we can help ensure that no one faces illness alone. Wow, what a great organization. It's wonderful to see how many people want to help out those in need. If you are in need of service hours, come and volunteer with this amazing organization. Next, NDTV asked ND students, to taste test some salt and straw Thanksgiving flavors. Let's check it out. All right, I'm Chris. I'm Kendall. I'm Katie. I'm Ruby. I'm Nama Vanish. So we're gonna be trying salt and straw Thanksgiving flavors. That was good. Tastes like coffee. No, it's yeah, not. It's actually not. <laughs> no, it's like pumpkin sliced coffee. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. But there's like a salt. It's like salty. Boom! <laughs> boom! I give it a boom. Okay. It is turkey. Mm -hmm. like actually, turkey um, stuffing and curry sauce. Ready? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I chunked of Oh! Why are there chunks of turkey? In it? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Wow, those flavors look interesting. Next, let's take a look at the traditional Thanksgiving family game night. Thanks so much for hosting this year. Uh, I would have done it myself, but I had some loose ends at work to tie up. Oh, it's really nothing. I'm just so glad that everyone could come out this year. All right, all right. No chit chat. How about a game of Uno? Oh, a game of Uno sounds awesome. That pumpkin pie was really good today. Absolutely a highlight. Oh. It has to be the best thing I've ever eaten. You guys are flattering me way too much. Was that nutmeg I tasted? Yeah, my dad's recipe. Oh, he's amazing.
Go now. Go I did not know Thanksgiving could be so intense. Thank you, Knights, for joining us this holiday season. We want to make sure that you have an amazing break. And I'm Lola Grant, here with Dominic, wishing you all an incredible Thanksgiving break. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great weekend, Knights.